I remember sitting at my desk in my first design job and just thinking, oh, you know, people who make typefaces, they must be in a different league. <laughs> and and then, re then realizing that actually is something anyone can do. And it's just a lot of it is about creating a font, releasing it, making another one. And the process, you know, the process you learn from each time you do it. Um, I've had a lot of failures with fonts, <laughs> but I've had a couple of really successes. And like my second one, like my first font came about because one of my followers kept badgering me to release something of my hand lettering. And so I did it. I thought, oh, I'll give it a go, you know, might as well. Uh, and that did okay. I got a few sales from that. And then I decided, okay, I've done it. Let's do a joined up one. The first one was all capital letters, which is really easy. If, if you want to do a font, do cool capital letters. The next one was all joined up. It was a cursive, cursive uh, script font. And uh, it's a whole new world because everything's joined up. And so you have to make sure like the F is joined up to the E, the C, the A. The, and you're like, this is a whole new world of uh, learning. And uh, I remember that this also brought me up into the world of kerning, which is the space in between each individual yeah. letter or pairs of letters. And uh, I remember I didn't know any of the shortcuts for any of these programs. So I remember having to do, I think it was like, 1300 I had to individually oh, space 1300 different grief. pairs of letters and uh and that was quite brain brain numbing <laughs> and then I realized once I'd I thought oh it must be a bit easier way than this and then the next one I realized that you can set uh like uh groups of letters because some groups of letters share characteristics and so they all have the similar sort of spacing and I'm like oh that like my next one took a lot less time because I I learned that, but you know what I saw is of quite a failure of having to spend so much time on that. And then I could, you know, uh, that skill. I suppose sometimes you can see a failure. It depends how you see that failure. Yeah. So my failure on that script font was actually something that helped me to then get better with other words. But what I didn't know was the fact that that second font was also my best-selling font out of all of my other ones. It's so so it's weird. You know, you think it's, you, you think you, you failed at something and you think, oh, that process was, you know, I'm never going to make another one. And then I release it and it, and it does really well. And I'm like, oh, okay. It was worth it in the end. 